We are in an unprecedented time for all of us, and in nowhere is this more true than in the world of oncology, because at least for us, you know, cancer care is not elective. You can't just put all of cancer care on hold for the next couple of months and we'll come back to it later. We have to keep it going. So we have to have decision making for patients in real time right now. Our patients who had surgery for, say, colon cancer a month ago, well, they need to know whether or not they need adjuvant chemotherapy. Or alternatively, our patients who are in long-term follow-up or who need to be followed, do they come in and get a CAT scan or not? Are they supposed to come in and get blood tests when we're trying to keep people out of our hospitals uh, to decrease risk and decrease infection. So um, assays uh, such as the Signatera assay uh, enable us to get more information on patients. And what's particularly interesting, and I just learned about this access program only recently, is that if you want this for your patients, they'll actually go to your patient's house and obtain the sample uh, for them so that the patient doesn't have really any major exposure to a healthcare environment uh, for this. So um, having just heard about it, having everything changing day by day, week by week, this is the sort of assay that I think is a legitimate thing to be doing in our patients today. Now how you would apply this is a little bit more controversial. If you got back a result of no circulating tumor DNA, well that's reassuring. It's not 100% correct, uh, but it's reassuring that that patient maybe could wait on adjuvant therapy or maybe not take it at all. On the flip side, if the patient has a positive assay, this is a patient who almost inevitably is going to have recurrent cancer um, based on all the evidence that we have to date. So I think that's a patient where the risk of coming in to get some treatment or maybe just oral chemotherapy is worth taking even in the time of the COVID-19 crisis.